Hey, what's up YouTube? It's your girl Alley Cat with a quick video tutorial. In this video, I'm just going to briefly show you how you can display your Fortnite gaming stats on your Twitch stream. So the first thing you're going to do is head over to Fortnite Tracker. And when you're over here, search for your own profile and you can just go to search profile. Let's go ahead and do that and type in your epic name and hit search. If you don't see any data here, this is not going to work. You don't need to be logged in for this step, but you should see your lifetime data. And if you see all zeros here or you get a message about your account being private, the first thing you need to do is make sure that your statistics are made public. Um, and you need to do that before you even finish this video because nothing else will work. Once you are able to see information here, then you want to log in to the tracker network. So I'll have the URL, but if you don't have a login, go ahead and create a login. Um, but once you do, you can go ahead and log in. And then we're going to actually head over to the tracker network website slash overlays. And then here you just create your overlay, select your game. We're going to do Fortnite. You pick your Epic ID and then you pick how you want it to display. So you can have a boxed horizontal or we can do lifetime stats. Or if there's an event going on, you can even show your current place in, any, in an event. But let's go with lifetime stats. And then this color scheme doesn't really match uh, my personal Twitch page. So I'm going to change my primary color over here. You just come over here and select a color. Or if you know the exact hex or RGB codes, you can put those in. You can play with the sliders to get whatever uh, color you want. I'm just going to go with this preset for the sake of the video. Hit save. Check out how it looks over on the screen. If you want to change your text color, let's go with a little yellowish look. We can do that too. And how it looks here is how it's going to look on stream. So make sure you're comfortable with it. Once you have that, you go ahead and click continue. And then it's going to ask for your Twitch or YouTube uh, URL. So since we're doing Twitch, I'm going to put in twitch.tv slash I am Alleycat and generate URL. Copy this URL somewhere and uh, somewhere safe and keep it. You can always get back to it, but it's just easier. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put this over in Notepad. Also keep the editor for future use. So if you wanted to get back and change the colors, for example, you would use this one. But this is the one that we're going to need to put into OBS to get it to show up on, on stream. So we'll go ahead and save that. Let's copy this first. Next, you're going to head over to OBS. Now, if you use a different um, broadcasting software, you'll have to kind of interpret that for your software. I'm using OBS. It's probably very similar in Streamlabs OBS. I'm not familiar with uh, some of the other flavors out there. But anyway, in OBS, what you're going to want to do is go to the scene where you want your uh, your stats to display. I don't have a game running, so that's why you're just looking at a black screen right here. Um, but what you're going to do is you want you want to add a browser source to that scene. So we'll do hit the plus sign, and we'll go browser, and we'll do Fortnite live stats. We'll hit OK here that URL that we we saved so we paste that in typically it's a good idea to keep it at 800 by 600 we can always resize it and hit okay it's loading and there you go I have two of them on the screen because I have a slightly different source but then you can put it uh, wherever you want um, on your screen just move it around and you're good to go some of you eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed that the overlay that I shown in the video is your lifetime stats and the one I have is your daily stats. Um, if you want to see the link for the daily stats, I have it in my discord. I'll have a link to my discord below. Also, if I get 10 likes on this video, I will come back and do another one on the daily stats. It's a little bit more complicated as far as customization and things of that nature. Not too much, but I would just want to put it in another video. So 10 likes and we'll get another video going. Thanks.